Welcome to another video. Two new models have been launched. The first one is OpenAI's GPT-40 Mini, and the second one is Mistral Nemo. I won't be covering GPT-40 Mini. I have already covered it in the LMSE's video that most of you probably haven't watched, because you guys only want those hunky-dory hype videos on YouTube, where the creator only talks about models without doing any testing or anything with them. Anyway, today, I'll be talking about Nemo, which is the new best model by Mistral. It is a state-of-the-art 12B model with a 128K context length. This model is built in collaboration with NVIDIA, and they say its reasoning, world knowledge, and coding accuracy are state-of-the-art in its size category. It is also trained with quantization awareness, enabling FP8 inference without any performance loss. They also say that this is a good drop-in replacement for Mistral 7B, which was their old model. This new model supports multiple languages as well, and has a more efficient tokenizer named Tekken. In particular, it is 30% more efficient at compressing source code. They say that Tekken proved to be more proficient in compressing text for approximately 85% of all languages. So, that's also cool. They have also done some good instruction, fine-tuning, that makes it much better at following precise instructions, reasoning, handling multi-turn conversations, and generating code. Let's look at the benchmarks now. I know half of you have left the video by now. But anyway, whenever I think about what could be wrong with a benchmark that a company has shared, I see Gemma in it. So, in Helleswag, it scores 83.5, which beats Llama 3 and Gemma 2. Then, in Wino Grande, it scores 76.8. In Natural Coup, it scores 31.2. And in Trivia QA, it scores 73.8. In MMLU, it scores 68, and in Open Book QA, it scores 60.6. .6. Then, in Common Sense QA, it scores 70.4, and in Truthful QA, it scores 50.3. So, those are the benchmarks, and I can't say much about them, because the comparisons are really bad. I mean, where's Quen2 and DeepSeek V2? At least, it should have been put against the major leading models in its size, but they haven't done that for obvious reasons. Anyway, the model is available under the Apache 2 license, which means it can be used for both commercial and personal uses, which is obviously also quite cool. The model is currently available on Hugging Face and is not yet available on Olima, but it should become available in some time. The model is available for trial on NVIDIA NIMS platform. So, Let's try it out from there. I'll be trying it out with these nine questions. I have made a few changes to them. Most of the questions are restructured or new, although the essence of the test is the same. So, let's check it out now. The first question is, what is the capital of the country whose name ends with Leah? The answer should be Canberra. Here's the answer from it, and as you can see, it's incorrect. So, let's mark it as a fail. The next question is, John has three boxes of pencils. Each box contains 12 pencils. How many pencils does John have in total? The answer should be 36. Here's the answer from Nemo, and as you can see, it answers correctly. So, this one's a pass. Next question is, Lucy has twice as many candies as Mike. If Mike has seven candies, how many candies does Lucy have? The answer should be 14. Here's the answer from it, and as you can see, it's correct. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Here's the answer, and as you can see, it doesn't answer correctly. So, this one's a fail. 
The next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see if it can do it or not. OK, so here's the code. And if we preview it, you can see that it looks fine and works fine as well. So this one's a pass. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's run it and check. OK, this works correctly. So it's a pass as well. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a square face. Let's send it and check. OK, here's the code. Let's preview it. OK, this looks fine as well. So this one's also a pass. The next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure that the landing page looks sleek and modern. Let's send the prompt and check. Here's the code. Let's copy and preview it. OK, this looks pretty cool. It has all the sections we wanted and everything. So this one's a pass. The next question is, write a snake game in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and check as well. So here's the code from it. Let's run it. OK, so this doesn't work. So let's mark it as a fail. Now, here's the final chart. As you can see, it's really good. I mean, it's better than the Codestral Mamba that they have released for coding, and even better than almost all others, and even on par with Quentu and DeepSeek. So, this is a really good model. I think that it covers almost all aspects, including reasoning and everything, and this should get much more popularity than the GPT-4 O-Mini model. I really like this model. It's the new good model. So, it will be cool to see in a co-pilot scenario. Let me know if you guys want a video with this. I think it will be pretty cool for a local co-pilot. Although, it needs to be available on Olama first. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.